able to brought him back, we got our an, you know American soldier back, and they had released a, a statement or a, a memo saying, hey, we got him back. There's some circumstances that are surrounding him. Uh, we're going to investigate them. That would have been great, you know. We got him back. He's going to seek justice. But instead, they parade his parents out in a rose garden ceremony, and you have cabinet members come out and say he served with honor and distinction, basically calling him a hero, when they knew that wasn't true, and the facts have been the same for five years. But yet you have soldiers that are missing limbs or paid the ultimate price over there, and they don't get a rose garden ceremony. They served honorably. All they get is an AutoCAD letter three or four months later. Well, that's absolutely true. Joining us now is Carl Higby, former U.S. Navy SEAL and author of Battle on the Home Front, a Navy SEAL's mission to save the American dream. Good to see you, man, as always. Good to be back on. Um, you know, this is, this is bubbling up. Today we get an explanation. We're finding out in, in drips and in, in, in bits and pieces of what um, uh, Bergdahl told authorities. Right. He says now he didn't mean to desert with the intent of like going, uh, never coming back. He was just looking to find another military base yeah. to report irregularities on his base. How, how does that smell? No, that smells terrible. I mean, there, there's positions put in place in order to for soldiers to have an avenue to complain or within have your own base. within your own base yeah. and they have to send those up it's a law that if they don't send them up they're in trouble right. so that that just stinks that's not right all right now you know the more we watch and i played uh, one of my give me fives today is susan rice you know from last june on the with stephanopoulos yep. it's a joyous day he served his country with honor um i mean these people knew what we know now then how could they say that I mean, this is indicative of the Obama administration and his entire cabinet because they're willing to do and say anything that puts them in a good light. I mean, this guy deserted, and he was their last remaining person over there that they wanted to bring home. But you look at the pattern of what happens. I mean, it comes down to, you know, the, the parents of Trayvon Martin were in the Rose Garden. You had the president uh, who commented on the, uh, the Harvard or the uh, Princeton law, yeah, law guy yeah. who got arrested. And, I mean, he comments on these things and he injects himself into matters that he should not be injecting into. And it, he ends up putting his foot in his mouth, and yet no one's holding him accountable for it, except for you and Fox News. Well, and, and you know, we had the mother of uh, one of the, uh, the, 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 the fine soldiers who wound up getting a silver star for the, for the heroic way in which he perished, uh, looking for Bo Bergdahl. Six military members, as far as I could tell, died as a direct result of them looking for Bo Bergdahl. Right. I mean, that makes it all the more egregious, right? Right, and now I mean, we have to wait for the findings of facts. And if they, it comes to light that if, in fact, these guys did die directly looking for Bo Bergdahl, I say death penalty, firing squad, no mercy. I mean, it is treason. Well, uh, and now, unfortunately, what, what you hear the rumblings of is that, you know, the administration isn't going to let it go that far. I mean, that there's a good chance they picked up the phone or someone picked up the phone and called someone and said, no matter what happens, no trial, cut a deal. Now, I don't know if that's legal, if that's possible, if it's ethical, if it even happened, but what do you think the probability is uh, that there will never be a day in court because they don't want to hear the testimony. They don't want the, the, the administration doesn't want all this to come out. I think it's 50-50 because here's in the military trial, what they can do is the, uh, the senior general can, who's overseeing it, uh, he can shut down the court martial art altogether. I mean, he has that authority and now he does work for the President of the United States. So where do you go? I mean, if, if we have enough public outright outrage about this and enough people are in, in the public saying we need to go to trial, I think um, it will. But it, I call on the general right now who's ever overseeing this to uh, to make sure this goes to trial no matter what. And if you have to debate, obey, uh, disobey a direct order from the President, do it. That's, that's, no, that's very powerful. And then that's, uh, I just hope it happens. I just hope it happens. And there's also talk, you know, talk it's, uh, uh, of Obama would pardon him if he were yeah. on the way out. And, 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 and the, uh, the mother uh, who we had on earlier uh, by the name of um, uh, Sandra Andrews uh, from uh, the Lieutenant Andrews' mother said if that were to happen, if he were to be convicted and, and, and pardoned on the way out, that would be the end for military families. I mean, that, that would just be their end. Right. It would be the end of uh, military families' respect and also be the end of respect, for any remaining respect that there is in the U.S. military active right now, because I think the respect is so low. I believe it's less than 10 percent for the current president, wow. and this would just kill it. Wow. 10 percent. I believe so. Yeah. And, and uh, does this affect going forward a, uh, a, a volunteer army? Uh, no, people because people still signing up? 
People are. People are still signing up because it, it doesn't, you know, people who are in may not respect the president whatsoever. But it transcends But that. we yeah. still want to serve honorably. We right. still want to do our part for our country, right. and irregardless of the president. Right. Good to see you. Thank As you. always, thank you. Uh, and folks, uh, pick up the book, and uh, it's a great read. There it is, Battle uh, for the Home Front, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, when we come back, uh, Battle on the Home Front, I'm sorry. When we come back, uh, much, much more of the Steve Malzberg Show. Keep it where it is. Only on Newsmax Television. Don't you go away. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.